Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99 how you doing? I just did a daily video, the final countdown, day 14. It'll be video number one below. Um, I might have a little bit of inspiration to share. So I'm feeling a little inspired. I'm like, I'm just going to jump on. I just did my other video, Final Countdown Day 14. I'm like, I got to I gotta talk to my people, my family. So I'm a storyteller. If you were my friend in real life, I love to tell stories and I love to talk with my hands and I like to be enthusiastic and I like to exaggerate to get a laugh out of people, especially my grandkids. Man, does my hair look good. So I remember I grew up in a big city, moved to the suburbs. Um, and I remember the first time I went to a farm, F-A-R-M, like a farm. And I saw a horse, true story, I saw a horse. There's a method to my madness for this video. Stick with me for like five, six, seven minutes. And I looked over and I saw a horse and the horse had these black, I don't know what they were. And I remember I said to the farmer, I said, what are those by the horse's eyes? And the farmer said, oh, those are blinders. I'm like, maybe I was in first grade, maybe second grade. And I'm like, what do horse, excuse me, what do horse blinders do? And the farmer explained to me that it just allows the horse to see straight ahead. So if there's something on the side of the road, it keeps their vision straight ahead. I'm like, okay, didn't quite understand the science behind that, but oh well, I was a little guy. So I was thinking today, again, with cryptos, about taking profits, that's what I talked about in my last video, video number one below, that don't be like a horse. And I don't even know if they, if farmers use horse blinders anymore. I don't even know if that's, if I'm dating myself again. But if you've got like tunnel vision, you know, what I want you to do is I want you to start to dream this year. And in my line of work, I talk and I interact with a lot of young people. And young people can, it seems like they get more excited about their life than older people as a general rule. And I want everybody, not just the younger uh, listeners, to kind of take off your blinders and dream and realize the possibilities to the left side of the road, to the right side of the road, the possibilities and your dreams that may lie ahead and start to think about those things. Because some of you are going to have a lot of crypto profits and I don't want you to be talking about Lambos and this, that, and the other thing. I mean, you can if you want, but talk to yourself about the possibilities of what your future might look like if you make this decision or what your possibilities or your life could look like if you make that decision. So I always tell you, well, I tell everybody, I say, you got to do in life what makes you happy. You've got to have a job, a profession, a calling that fills your emotional gas tank, okay? If you don't like what you're doing, I'm getting a little off subject, but this is still good. Um, just consider the possibilities of you making a career change. Or if you're stuck at home, I know I kind of do a lot of joking about living in your parents' basement. Maybe you want to move out of your parents' basement this year, in all honesty. Not trying to be funny. But think of things in your life that, I, like I said, what I tell young people, that fill up your emotional gas tank and start to pursue those. Start to take steps in that direction. I'm going off topic here. Anyhow, don't be like a horse with blinders that only look straight ahead. Take those blinders off in your life. Take a chance take a risk, smell the roses, and think of the possibilities. Dream a little bit. This is going on way too long. But I got to say again, man, does my hair look good with my new shirt. No one said anything about my new shirt. So I'm still on this diet. I'm not as angry as I was last week. I'm drinking green tea. 
until I can't drink green tea anymore. Doing lots of celery, cucumbers. I had a salad for lunch. I didn't get angry about that. I'm down about eight pounds, no, seven or eight pounds. And um, I don't know, just feeling good. But again, drinking a lot of lemon water, maybe that's making me cranky. No wonder why people are on diets that walk around with a frown on their face. It's like they're not, they're not eating anything. Anyhow, that's what's going on with this little guy. Crypto Mentor 99, take the horse blinders off, drink some green tea, eat some pumpkin seeds, eat an avocado. Anyhow, you know I love you. See you later. Bye-bye.